Alrighty, so I'm going to show you guys how to buy and sell a futures contract. So right here, we've got Thinkorswim open. It, uh, it's currently 8.10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We've got uh, the SPX right here on a, uh, what's the chart here? Well, zoomed out, you can see here this is May of uh, last year, May of 20. Today, things are not doing so well. We're, uh, things are coming down a bit. Things are correcting. Um, got PayPal down here. We've got the well, VXX ETF, which tracks the VIX. You can see here the VIX, which is spiking up because the markets are trending down. So here's the XPX again, zoomed in. Um, looks like we're kind of moving into a little range right here. Um, so anyway, let's say we want to short it right here. So we want to sell a futures contract. We're going to go up here to trade and then futures trader. Now I have the micro uh, e-mini S&P 500 contract in. The ticker symbol is MES. Um, I like this because uh, you can use, it only it requires the smallest amount of margin, um, which is down here at $1,200, uh, a little over $1,200, uh, basically meaning you have to put up uh, $1,210 to buy or sell one contract. To compare and contrast that, we can look at the E-mini contract, the S&P E-mini, which requires a little over $12,000 for one contract. That's uh, a lot of money for one trade. So just to keep risk under control and not to, you know, blow up my account, uh, we're going to keep it a little bit less. You can see today I've already lost $15 <laughs> on a bad trade earlier. Um, so uh, let's just, well, first off, let's uh, zoom in right here real quick. Let's get a little, little closer view of what's going on in today's action. Um, let's just take a little a short position real quick. We'll just sell one contract. We've got two ways of doing it, and well, there's a couple different ways. We can click right here. Well, first off, you can change your quantity right here. One, two, three. Notice the numbers get bigger. If you want to sell three contracts, you've got to put up $3,600. But uh, we'll keep it at one. Um, so we can just click Sell, which will bring up the you know these details here. We're gonna, it's a future. We're going to sell it. Uh, it's going to be one contract. So it's the, the, the month, the contract month. Obviously, the pricing here, we can change it to be a limit order, we can be market order, you know, stops, trailing stops. Trailing stops are always useful. Um, I'll just delete this. So you can enter the trade there. You can enter the trade here by clicking, uh, you know, you can click, uh, say you want to sell it, you know, right here. You can just sell it right there. And then, uh, click, you know, click, it, uh, click send, uh, send it through. Um, or you can just sell the market up here. Um, notice how it follows as the market moves. It'll follow the uh, where the market's at. This is the fastest way to do it. Um, if you put in a limit order, obviously it, you know it won't always sell because you might be above the market. Um, so you have to wait for the market to come to you. It's, assuming we're taking the short side. Um, Although you know what, maybe we'll just maybe we'll go long here. It's kind of looks like it's kind of recovering a bit. Yeah, we'll we'll go long. So we're just, we'll, we're gonna buy one contract. So we'll just buy. Everything looks good. The cost of the trade is gonna be two dollars and fifty two cents. Um, just, it's just commissions. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna remove twelve hundred dollars from our buying power, and that'll be just what's left over. All right. Send. And off it goes. And look at that. We've already made two dollars and fifty cents, and uh oh, now we've lost. So obviously, this right here is your uh, your price, your entry price, I should say, um, your, or your cost basis, however you want to think about it. Um, and because this is just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and just sell it again because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to <laughs> add to my losses for the day. Uh, so to sell, obviously, it's just the opposite: sell market. Actually, you know what? We we'll use a limit order. So it's gonna. I want to sell at uh, thirty-eight fifty-six. So same deal. It's, you know, details are all the same. Send it through, and then uh, there it goes. Market hit it, 
and it went right through. So that's as easy, easy as it gets, just buying and selling. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment and uh, I will try to answer it, assuming I can.